here we go. Oh yeah. Just good to get back out there, Randy. I mean, things linger for a while, and you know, the 24-hour rule is kind of tough when you don't really do anything for five days. No, you know, it's good. You know, we got back into it. Coaches went out on the road, you know, Monday, so we got it out of our system real quick because you really got, got to have to go find players that, uh, that you see we can help you out for the following season for the future. But the players been, you know, they've been watching pit film on their own Monday, Tuesday. Uh, they did a little 7-on-7 seven seven stuff yesterday, and today we got some good work in today, and we got some good work in tomorrow. What do you want them to I mean? Do you want this Saturday to be to be motivation, to be fuel, or is it better off sort of left unsaid for a while? No, I think, you know, what you look at is like we said, you got to get better. You know, we knew, like I said uh, last week, either way it goes, it's going to be better for both teams. So we found out some things we need to fix, some things that we can get a lot better in, and, and that still shows you where we've come and how much better we can be. Couple things. So everybody's excited about it. They know things can be fixed. That's one thing. If you have something that's broken, you can't fix it. You're in trouble. What's, what's the mood? What you would want this morning? Yeah, very energetic. Chris, sharp guys, go in and out. We got off the field early, and uh, so that means everybody was concentrating and doing all the things. Miss one against one, so very competitive, and uh, just getting some fastball stuff in, which is really good. Brandon, the uh, quarterback always gets a lot of praise when you win, a lot of uh, the other stuff when you lose. Jacory getting too much of that? You know what? That's just people. People in general, fans in general, media, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's part of the game. He understands that. You know, we sit down and talk a lot, not just this year, but over the years, and, and with every club. You know, you, when you do a great thing, everybody prays. When things go bad, everybody gets on So he understands that as part of life. I'm just curious, to sort of off the wall, but do you have any superstitious stuff you do? I mean, I noticed you cut the mustache, but I mean, is there anything you sort of do that before games or? Yeah, he's been off, he's been off for a while. Yeah. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. You look different. Yeah. You look different today. Do you do something different today? Do you do something different today? No. Okay. No. Do you have any superstitions you do or anything like that? No. 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 I get caught up in that when I was a player a lot. But, you know, you get superstitious, do one thing, and then you win a game, and then next week you do something else. And what does what does a guy like uh, Lamar Miller give you when he can break off of from back like that and kind of speed? You know, he's an he's, he's, he's a great football player, of course. You know, we feel like Lamar, like anybody else, the guys have opportunity to make big plays for us, we don't use them. And we have guys that if you're not on offense, that you have a chance to do some special teams and make big plays for us, we don't use it. He's value like that. Him and Travis, and we got some other guys that are value like that. So, but it creates field position. It creates a lot of you know stuff for the offense that other teams don't have to worry about. With him, special teams is that a chance to kind of prove maybe he can get he should get more carries running the ball as far no. as making plays. No, no. Okay. you're trying hard, but no. Jordan Fudge just how's he coming along? I know he got back. First game back, yeah. you know, you know, wasn't sharp like he was with Chris, but uh, as far as running around and all the things he did, all the twisting and turning in the game, and, and played all special teams. So, got to ease him back into it this week. He probably when we play Pitt, he probably get a little bit more action on maybe base defense and stuff like that. With his personality, he's a very outgoing kind of kid. Is he about as high energy as you guys have? Yeah. He probably would, yeah. He's very high energy, high motor, high energy, yeah. You would say that. Uh, the defensive line, I mean, your philosophy, it seems like you guys play a lot on ends and tackles. Do you like to have two solid units? Do you like to have a top? Yeah, unit? you always have, you know, when, you, when you've been able to, you know, play real good defense, you know, was able to really rotate guys, and, and that's when you can play real good. And I think the more that you continue to, to rotate guys and get eight, you play them now. You only got five guys that are real good, and only five that you're gonna play. And you gotta get in great shape at defensive line. But fortunately, we have numbers too, guys that we feel real good about playing and stuff like that. So it's real good. Do you like to have? Do you like to have a top unit, or do you like to have like the second one about as equal? Do you you can give me two twelve defensive line that are all the same, that are great football players. I play all twelve. So if you're playing twelve that are all great, you give me a bunch of Howie Longs and those guys. Play twelve of them at rotating. Probably beat anybody in the country. How's the rotation during the game? How do you guys decide who's going? It goes on reps. That's all. Straight reps. numbers? Depends, reps. If it's short series, long series, things like that. Randy, with, with uh, inside on the defensive line, with you guys being banged up, any thought of uh, using Allen at least some of the time there? A little. You know, third down situations, maybe stuff like that. But, you know, we feel like, you know, 
Luther should be back probably tomorrow. Uh, Luther Robinson should be right. back tomorrow the next day. Marcus should be back. You know, they ran, they walked around the day, did some stuff. At least they, you know, not in a boot or nothing like that, so which is good. So they should be back, but we still always do that in practice. Always move guys around. Curtis, yeah. more of a long-term thing? Yeah, long-term, don't know yet. Just see how he comes along. With, uh, with Andrew Smith, you know, how does he sort of fit in now that he's getting back healthy? He's doing well. You know, just playing, repping, and practicing good. We had a couple of good days. We had a good day today and tomorrow. We'll see where he's at. But he's been doing well. Randy, the uh, outside linebacker, uh, other than uh, Sean with Kylan and uh, Raymond, how, how are those guys playing? Uh, how, how do you feel about that position? They're okay coming around. You know, you still you know, want those guys to get a lot better. You know, you always want them to be like Sean and those guys. But, you know, everybody's different. And uh, they're coming around fine, you know. You know, when it's two backs in the game, they'll be playing a lot. But when it's three receivers in the game, we just go best personnel. Our best personnel with three receivers in the game just put an extra DB. So that's why you don't see those guys out there as much, bro. Even though, I mean, you, it's pretty pretty evident that at least two of the picks weren't really Jabari's fault. When, when things started snowballing on Saturday, did you think about maybe taking him out for a series or two? No. Sort of mm -hmm. No, no, no. Because he wasn't frustrated. You know, was, you know, probably he was disappointed, but he wasn't frustrated. And you see him come back and make make some throws right after that and get us back downfield real quick. So, you know, he's a gamer. You know, he's not going to be a guy that's going to shy away and you have to protect him like that. When he's when he's cramping up on his left side, and, I mean, he's going on one leg, you know, to the huddle and that. I mean, by now, you guys are sort of, it's not even a concern. You're, you're, no, we always tell the guys, it's a, you know, we know when guys can't go, cannot go. And, uh, you know, we feel like he can go and he felt like he can go uh, because he's, he's wasn't a, we didn't have any quarterback run plays in him, so, you know, just throwing and, and doing those things, and he was in shotgun a lot. So those things, he easy set your foot and go instead of snapping the ball, dropping back. And when that becomes different, then now you can really get in trouble. It's going to sound a little off the wall, too, but not as off the wall as Matt's, but how dark did it get during the game? Because from where we were, in the second quarter there, when the rain started coming, I mean, it was pitch black kind of on the field. Uh, you know, I did notice it. You know, I just know it wasn't, you know, even feel the, 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 the sun and things. It just like got dark and, and uh, like one of those days in the Midwest where it's just rainy and gloomy, like one of the gray days and stuff. But it was all right. I figured down there, the light would be different anyway. No, it wasn't. Couldn't tell, really. You know, you're in the heat of the bounty. You can't really tell, to be honest with you. Maybe a stats or stats, but Allen doesn't have any sacks. Is that indicative at all of how he's playing, or do you feel he's playing well and not, not getting sacks? He came close a couple times, you know, but that's part of it. So he goes in, in, in his rhythm. Like last year, he didn't have anything with us in the middle of the season. He got seven real quick. And then he got all the time, he got back. So he just goes in rhythms and cycles on, on the protections are doing and, uh, and, and, and what people are trying to count on offense. And it's a good that they got their first away experience. You know, it's such a big field, big crowd. Now they go to Pitt. You talk about Pitt a little bit and the difference possible. Yeah, both fields are the same, you know, they're going to have any fans and stuff, loud, Thursday night, so it'll be a lot of, you know, people coming in from work, and it's a great atmosphere. It's a TV game again, which is always great because of, you know, guys get to come out and, and everybody in the country get to see you, so it'd be a great atmosphere like always. I'm pretty sure this game was scheduled before before Dave got the job, sort of before you got the job. Do you have any energy? This deal got me back from Big East. It's, I think it was the Bob Clause. <laughs> so, you got to play so many Big East teams before this, you know, something like that. I don't really know the details. How, uh, how close have you and Dave stayed over the years? Yeah, very close. Very good friends. Uh, you know, we talk about different things. We text each other, you know, and uh, we're going to continually do that. Even though we're playing each other next week, that's part of it. You know, we probably won't say much. But on game day, we probably have a, a great conversation and things like that and talk, communicate, and just talk about old times and, and, and future for both of us. I'm not trying to get you in trouble here, but... You know, David Cole 11 5 with the Dolphins, and he was still public enemy number one. It seemed like in this town. He ever gave up a real fair shake, you think? You know what? Miami's a tough place. You know, like any place that, uh, you know, there's always the Miami fans who wants the best. You know, if the Heat, Marlins, hockey, hurricanes, it don't make a difference. And that's just part of it here. And you just deal with it and, and uh, you try to do your best what you can and you accept it. Randy, did you play for him here and in Dallas or just yes. in Dallas? Both, Both places. Yeah. So. Here in Dallas, and I coached the Dolphins. Oh, yeah. He hired you, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Pittsburgh, what impresses you most so far and what you've seen? A competitive team. You know, they played Utah, and then uh, Utah had them down by big, and then they came back and forth back very strongly. But that's always Dave, you know, mentality. He's an old pit guy, pit grad, and he got a tough man mentality. So this game would be a tough physical game.
been a, you had a lot of praise for the tackles, the offensive tackles, a uh, couple of sacks came th- up the middle. You were not as happy with the interior play of the offensive line against you know, No, no, no. I mean, it's like any time you look for sacks, you're not happy. But, I mean, I think those guys did well. If you look at the first time, Brandon Harris and Tyler Horn, you played a uh, great defensive line like Ohio State had. And, you know, the sacks coming not in bunches, just in, in Jaguar didn't get hit a lot. And I think that's the biggest thing. If your quarterback don't get hit a lot, you're okay. You know, you can not give up sacks and have 30 hits on the quarterback. That's going to demoralize the quarterback. You know, he got the, he got the two sacks. And otherwise, then I thought they did a great job of protecting him. Was Fick hit today? Huh? Was Fick hit today? A little bit. And then he came back, bounced back. Yeah. Randy, you said you would learn about this team one way or the other, win or lose. What's the biggest thing you wanted your team to learn after coming up after the game? We just got better. You know, we just got to learn on, on things. You can't turn the football over and you got to create turnovers. So, they one thing that they learned that they, we can play with anybody in the country, but when you turn the ball over and you don't create turnovers, we cannot. So, that's a big thing that they learned and you know, getting ready for the future. Randy, one thing you talked uh, about after the bowl game last year was just wanting them to be more physical up front. You think at these first two games you're seeing more of what yeah. you wanted? Yeah, yeah. More physical mentally, too. You know, mentally and, and physically, not just one way. I think those guys are, in that game we played this past, they, they kept staying focused. They, you know, were down by a lot. We kept coming back. We kept doing a lot of great things. They didn't falter. And I think that's what you mean about mentally, physically tough. They kept coming back and kept fighting to get some points and do some things. What's the biggest difference you'd like to see with your offense as a whole at Pittsburgh compared to Ohio State? consistency. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks. All right.